This is Detective Poco of Orange County Sheriff's Office. Today is Thursday, May the 31st, 2012. The time is approximately 1049 hours. I'm conducting a follow-up investigation in case number 12-47698. I'm here at 5426 Cross Creek Drive. I'm sitting out in the parking lot in front of apartment number 203. Um, I am in my issued Orange County Sheriff's Office um, patrol vehicle and with me in the uh, front passenger seat is state your name ma'am look Kendra who is the how, how, how do you, your your relationship with mr. Wilfred Exodus is that your boyfriend we're current, well, that's my ex-boyfriend. He's your ex-boyfriend. But to people, he still claims me as his girlfriend. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, could you spell your uh, first name for me? What's your date of birth? 1991. And how old are you? 21. Okay, and what's your current address? Okay, is there an apartment or is that a house? House. That's a house, and who do you reside there with? My aunt, Asa yeah. Johnson. Oh, Miss Johnson there? Yes. Okay, and who else resides there? Um, her two kids, my son and myself. Now, I understand that you and Mr. Is it Exodus? Yes. Okay. We're in a relationship, right? Yes. Well, first of all, let me do this. Uh, for, can you raise your right hand? You swear the statement you're about to give is going to be true and correct? Yes. Okay. Now, um, you, you do understand that I am recording our conversation, correct? Yes. Do you have a problem with me recording our conversation? No. Okay, um, has anyone at any time threatened, coerced, or promised you anything in order for you to talk to me at this time? No. Have I promised you anything in order for you to talk to me at this time? No. Okay, do you feel like you're in police custody? Yes. You do? No, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're not in police custody. No. You're, my doors are unlocked and you can leave you know. at any time. <laughs> yes. You understand? Okay. And you understand that you don't have to give me a statement, but um, I would love for you to give me a statement. Yes, Correct. I understand. And you do understand that I'm uh, investigating um, allegations of child abuse against uh, Mr. Exodus. Yes. Okay. And you don't mind talking to me, correct? No, I don't mind. Okay. Uh, like I said, let, let me ask you this. Uh, how long have you known Mr. Exodus? Um, I would say for about a year and a half, going on two. Okay, when did you all first meet? We used to work together at Marriott International, so I met him probably 2009. 2009. Where, where were you working at? What, what was your position there? I was outbound sales. And so what was his position? The same. We were on the same team. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how long after y'all met did you all develop a relationship? Relationship, yes. Probably like eight months, nine months. So y'all okay. knew each other for a long time before y'all actually started going out or anything. Mm hmm Okay. Um, have you been intimate with Mr. Uh, Exodus? Yes. Okay. Uh, how long have y'all been in an intimate relationship, a sexual relationship? Since, I would say, probably October. Of 2011? Yes. Okay, so probably about eight months, yeah. so to speak. Okay, about eight months. Okay, so um, when you first met him, did he uh, did he disclose that he had any children? Um, he mentioned that he had a son. And he used to have his son for, I think, the first two years of his son's life. Okay. 
and tell me about it. What did he tell you about that? He really just never got into it because he just would get upset about it because he said that his baby mama had her, had him and wouldn't give him back. And she now, ran away. When you say he would get upset, how would, what would his reaction be? Just how would like be? close off about it and just, you know, get upset about talking about his baby mama because he really did not like his baby mama. He didn't like his baby mama. And what made you believe that he didn't like his baby mama? Just how he would refer to her as far as bitch, um, kind, just the way he would talk to her or talk about her. And he talked very negative. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. And, okay. Did he tell you how long they were in a relationship? He said they were never in a relationship. Okay. But at they some just, point they, they had intimate, sex. Yeah. They were They were intimate and they had a child because of that intimate relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, when you spent time with Mr. Exodus, uh, where were y'all spent time at? Um, over his apartment off of Golden Rod, um, Chickasaw. Who did he live with there? He lived alone. Okay. How many bedrooms was the apartment? A one bedroom. Just a one bedroom, which is him? Mm-hmm. No one else lived there? No. Okay. How often would you uh, spend time over there? Um, frequently, um, throughout the week. I would say just, I'll spend a night, probably like a couple of nights at a time, like three nights at a time, and then go home, which is over there um, at my Aunt Issa's house, okay. and then probably go back over there. How many children do you have? You have one. one. How old is your son? He's just turned one in March. Okay. Where's his father at? Um, he actually just moved back from Jacksonville to Orlando. He lives with his father right now in Kissimmee. Okay. Is he in your son's life? Not really. Not He's really. kind of just gave back in his life. Okay. Uh, what about Mr. Ex Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, did, was he um, a part of your son's life? Um, I brung my son over a couple of times, but I would prefer not to bring him over. And why is that? I just didn't feel comfortable with bringing my child. Um, just, I get a certain vibe from him. Mr. Brock. Hey, guess I'm in the interview. I have a deputy that's on their way. Thank you. I'm sorry. I didn't feel comfortable with bringing my son around everybody, but I just always told Will that he was he didn't have patience, and okay. um, I said that my son is a handful at times, and I feel like if you don't have patience, then and what what made you feel like what did how did he act to make you feel like he didn't have patience? What would he do? He gets he makes a big deal out of everything, and he takes everything personal. So if I don't, example. if I don't pick up my phone the first time, uh, he's yelling or texting me crazy stuff like, "What am I doing? Where am I at? This, that, and other." Or he, I think he had trust issues with me, and I knew that he was very in love with me, but I wasn't feeling the same with him. Okay. But I was scared to tell him that. Why? Because I, I don't, I can't put my finger on it, but I can just say that he just didn't make me feel comfortable with talking to him because it just makes me feel like he's just gonna snap at any given moment. Okay. Would you say? Would you classify him as having a violent temper or? Um, he never laid his hands on me. He never um, did anything. Now his, he told me about a relationship where his ex girlfriend was going around saying that put his hands on her but I don't know if that was true or not but I can say that he likes to punch walls he gets angry if he doesn't work out he makes a really big deal of that um what else he just 
I think you just have a really, really bad temper. you ever seen him with um, how you display violent outbursts or, um, or violent tendencies or anything like that? One thing that just rubbed me the wrong way was one night I stayed the night with him and his DVD player wasn't working and it, I guess it wasn't reading the disc so he was getting really really frustrated I told him you know not to make a big deal out of it we don't have to watch a movie I just wanted to spend time with him and he still got irritated and he just like threw the DVD player at the wall. Like just slung it okay. because he was just angry that I wouldn't read the disc. What type of disc was, was it? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to use a street term. Was it a bootleg disc? No, it was from um, Redbox. It was, so it was a regular disc DVD. movie. And I told him that, hey, maybe your DVD player is getting old or it's dusty right now. You know, just like anything can happen i have dv players just gives out on me anytime but he just kind of like reacted on it um and i just wasn't sure why i didn't speak upon and, it I just, what did he do he just slung the dvd player like he grabbed where the disc actually goes he grabbed that and he slung it and did it shatter or break or anything like that? um they didn't really i don't think it broke but he just left it alone after that okay but um, how hard did he throw it against the wall? Really hard to the point where it could have hurt somebody. Yeah. We're on, I'm so sorry. We're on tape, so I'll, just give me a minute, okay? Um, okay, so you, you you know, so he he gets frustrated about small things small things mm -hmm. uh, so would that I mean, kind of rubbed me the wrong way to the point if he gets frustrated about a small thing then me telling him I feel this way about him he's not gonna take it lightly um, um, now I I know one thing he said in my my interview with him that and uh, that his son chewed chewed some of his food but he didn't swallow it could you see that angering Mr. Uh, Exilis or making him mad or whatever or getting frustrated do you think something like that would frustrate him I can say when Elijah is over my house he picks at his food and he plays with it like he doesn't eat and it frustrates well because of the fact he wants him to eat and he wants him to hurry up and eat because Elijah takes forever to eat his food. It takes him like a whole hour to eat just one sandwich. So he's always yelling, chew your food, swallow it. Chew your food, swallow it. I know that's something that he's been saying since he's gotten here. Chew your food, swallow it. And have, have you ever seen him discipline uh, Elijah in any type of way? Um, Physical discipline. When Elijah That was the uh, evidence uh, and the theories of the state on the issue of motive in the Denise Williams case. Uh, if you're prosecuting or defending a case, if you ignore motive, you do so at your own peril. The motive is not something the state has to prove, but it's something that helps the jury reach a decision because they want to understand the reason behind the, the crime, the murder and they want to understand who benefits from it. So obviously, if there's evidence pointing to somebody and the person has no motive for the killing, probably it's a little harder to, um, to convict in those scenarios. If there's evidence pointing to somebody, and on top of that, you have all these motives and all these reasons why that person would benefit from the murder, then a conviction becomes easier. Thank you for watching, and uh, and I'm. Elijah, Elijah lied to me. Um, it was about food, and I called him. Elijah had, I had fixed him a bowl of cereal, and I had to tend to my child. And Elijah ended up getting his bowl of cereal, flushing it down the toilet, and putting it at the um, table, saying, "I'm done." And I didn't know that he did that until I went to the bathroom and I seen cereal in the toilet. Oh. So I, I was like, you know what, I'm going to call your dad. I'm going to let him know about this. 
and he was like, okay, um, when I get there, you know, I'll handle it then. Um, he took him to the bathroom and he, he whooped him. I don't know how physical it was. I don't know. I wasn't in there. What did he whip him with? His hand. He hit him with his hand. What, do you know where he hit him at? No. Normally when I see him whipping, it's on his butt. Okay. And how hard would he hit him? I mean, on a scale of one to 10, one being the uh, softest, 10 being the hardest, how hard would you say you've seen him discipline? I would say probably a six. Out of six. And that's okay. like, you know, Elijah will get up and get over it. Like, With he'll Elijah cry at the cry. He'll cry, but he'll stop crying, like, immediately when it's done. I think he's crying because more of it's happening and he doesn't want it to happen, but he stops immediately once it's over with. Okay. Now, in the last couple of weeks, how often have you seen, um... I've been trying to avoid him for the last couple of weeks, um... And why is that? Because I have interest in another guy, and I, I kind of just... We had a conversation two Sundays ago... And I just told him that me and him wasn't seeing eye to eye. We weren't working out. But I didn't too much say I wanted to break it off with him because of the fact I just didn't feel comfortable with my safety, for one, because I just thought he was kind of crazy at the time. And when you said you thought he was kind of crazy, why? But maybe, what did you think he would happen if you actually told him to those words that because he would say up. little things like I have a friend named Jessica who I've been hanging out with a lot lately and he'll come over my house and he's like I'm jealous of Jessica you don't spend time with me you don't give me attention like he's really needy very needy when it comes to me like he's already alone and that's why I'm already afraid if I leave him then he'll go crazy because I give him so much attention and at the beginning of our relationship I will give him all of that attention but now I'm kind of like more focused on me and my son. Okay. And I don't think he too much like it if I'm not giving him at least some of my time or some of my attention. If I have to do something, he gets upset, he gets mad because I'm not trying to spend quality time with him. What does he say to you? Does he send you text messages? He just, oh, you don't care about me no more. How do you love me if you're not spending time with me? Um... Do you really want to be with me? And then he'll just like take everything personal. If I write something on Facebook, calls me immediately. Did you write that for me? Did you write that for me? Why did you say that then? Or, you know, just snaps at me for little things and it's not directly directed towards him. What would time. you write on Facebook? Just, um, for example, I think I wrote recently, um, right now. I don't really have the time nor the energy for other people in my life other than me and my son. I said I'm working, I'm trying to stay focused. Um, I wasn't really, I didn't say anything towards him. But I think he knew that, okay, I've been distanced towards him, so it's kind of like, in reality, it was for him. Okay. Um, man, um, actually, this now in a Last, last couple of weeks, you say you haven't seen him that often. Um, what about Elijah? In the last couple of weeks, I think often. I watched him two or three weeks ago. Last week, my aunt had kicked me out, and he said that I can come stay with him. But I didn't want to stay with another man. I didn't want to stay with a guy. I said, "I'm." So where'd you go? Um, I stayed with my friend Jessica. And my friend Courtney off of OBT at Lake Jasmine. For a couple of days. Hey, Des. Hey. Yeah, I got somebody. Somebody's on their way. Yes, they called her. Okay. I gotta go. But I stayed with my friend um, Jessica and Courtney off of Lake Jasmine for like a couple of nights. And I just told my aunt that I feel comfortable right now to just live with her until, you know, I get everything together with me getting my own place. Right. Um, he did offer me to stay with him. He asked his roommate 
his roommate wasn't too big of females living there and that was one other reason why I'm like I don't want to invade their privacy if your roommate already said that he doesn't want women staying there and I didn't really want to be there and my son's there Will's very firm and strict and serious so you know I didn't really want to be around that too much with my son all right um did you see uh will did you see wilford and elijah at all yesterday no i when i was supposed to stay the night with him last night um he came over my house what was yesterday wednesday so yes. he came over my house tuesday um for like probably two or three hours um elijah, you have elijah with him mm -hmm, elijah was inside my house playing with my cousins and when he left i made plans with him i said since I don't have to do anything Thursday, I'll stay with night with you Wednesday night. Um, he and his phone is off, so it's kind of hard for us to get in contact. And he ended up calling me from his friend Jonathan's house, probably like around seven, going on eight. I was sleeping. I called when I woke up. I called Jonathan back. He wasn't there. And then probably like around ten, that's when Will called me and said he was at the hospital. Okay. With Elijah. Um. Does Will, uh, Wilford work? Yes. Is he, what is he working at now? He works at Family Dollar. Okay. What's his hours, you know? Um, lately they've been giving him a lot of morning shifts, like 6 o'clock in the morning to 2 or 3. Or nope. Yesterday was 9 to 3, I think, because he called me before he got off. And wh where, where, where does he take Elijah? Lately, he's been saying he's been paying an old Haitian lady in Tiangelo that he grew up with. Um, I don't know her name. I don't know where she stayed. But he said that he's been paying her lately, and she lives off of Tiangelo. Okay. Well, in Tiangelo. I'm sorry. She lives in Tiangelo. Okay. When he called you yesterday at the um, and told you that he was uh, at the hospital, what did he tell you happened? What did he say to you? He was crying hysterically, and... He just wouldn't tell me, like, the story to give me, like, a clear vision of what happened. He just said, Elijah fell. He was eating his food, perf food perfectly fine after he fell. He spit it out. From my understanding, he spit it out. He went to go lay down. And um, he tried to wake him up. And he wouldn't wake up. Then he tried to tell me another story which was probably, I don't know if that was today. He's been telling me so many stories. All I've gotten is that he fell. That's all i really gotten out of the story. But he told me another story saying that they took a, he took a nap, he woke up, and normally when Will wakes up, Elijah wakes up with him, and he didn't wake up. So I'm like, when did you go to sleep? You never told me that you went to sleep. And, you know, my aunt, she told me, you never put a child to sleep when they fall, like, on the head. Right. But he told me that he wasn't, he told me he fell in the bathroom. He wasn't in the bathroom with him when he fell. So okay. now I, I told him, like, did he fall in the bathroom? Did he fall on the carpet? Where did he fall? I only been over here one time. And what did he say? Um, he's just like, I don't know. It's not making any sense. They're trying to investigate me. Um interrogate me I'm like what does it make sense and he's like can you just call my lawyer and I'm like well make sure you put your phone in possession you know for it to be released so I can call the mom at least for somebody to be up does there with him does he actually have an attorney on retainer mm -hmm. he he's does. been having the same lawyer for um, since I've known him because it was for his child support um with his baby, him and his baby mom been going through it, so she's been there for that. And also, he had um, a DUI probably like two months ago, and she was there for that. So he's been really with his lawyer for a long time. Do you know that lawyer's name? He gave me the lawyer's number and extension. I don't know her name. Okay. Um, and I think I wrote it down. I'm not sure. Okay. Um. Anything else you can tell me about it? Mm, I just think that right now, Will, from the person I've known, he's just an angry person. Um, I feel like he's angry more for 
what his mom did when he was growing up. Um, what did his mom do when he was growing up? He just said that his mom used to abuse him a lot as far as used to have him on his knees for hours, would whoop him. Um, just they didn't have a good relationship. And then he was the only boy in a house full of sisters. Didn't get along with them neither. So that's kind of like why he doesn't have family because he doesn't talk to any of them. Right. His dad died when he was a kid, from what I know. Um, the only time I see him actually happy is either when I'm with him, spending time with him, and when he wants me to spend time with him, or when he's talking about military, or something like that. He doesn't like to hang out with his friends. He wants to hang out with me all the time. Well, uh, why did he get out of the military? Uh, I think he said because of Elijah. He said that when he went to the military, he didn't know that Felicia was pregnant. And when he came back, that's when Elijah was born. And, um... Now, was he honorably discharged or dishonorably discharged or what? I had never got too into that. I Honestly, I don't know, but I always ask him, would you go back? And sometimes he says yes, and then sometimes he's like, no, I can't because of Elijah. So... So you don't know whether you like, don't know his discharge status. No, I don't. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, is there anything that I haven't asked you that you would like me to know about Wilford? Let me ask you this. I don't think I've pretty. Much, I don't think I've touched on it enough. What type of child is? is Elijah I mean describe to me I mean he's, is he when he's around me he's really quiet um okay you say when he's around you he's quiet what about when he's around his dad he's quiet he's, he's quiet. quiet it's like when he's around kids that's when you see more of him talking or you know playing but when he's around just adults he's quiet um doesn't say too much Will don't like people babying him, also. Um, okay. How, uh, um, how does uh, Elijah? How does Elijah uh, act around Wilford? I mean, does it, does he appear to be scared of him, or does he act like he really love him and that you know, this is dad and um, he misses him? Or, I, I hear him say I love you dad all the time or um, I, I can see that he'd rather be with his dad sometimes I asked him when you know he was at work I was like do you miss your mom I was, he's like yeah I was like do you want to stay with your dad or your mom he says my dad and this is like after all the beatings and you know discipline he still says his dad you say all the beatings on what beatings As as far as like him being disciplined and getting a whooping for like he gets whoopings probably for not eating when he needs to eat or peeing in the bed that's the only time i've seen him so you actually seen him whip him multiple times i seen him when i came over here the first time he had peed on the couch and i was in the room but i can like see around the corner kind of and he was in the living room he just whooped him on his butt with what his hand okay and he put he told him go in the bathroom and take a bath but and then the other time probably was when he went over my house and that's when he lied about the cereal and then he whooped him in the bathroom okay um that's it uh any have you ever seen him hit him anywhere else no on his body no okay have you ever seen him grab him in, in a violent way or shake him or anything like that no. I'll throw him down in a violent way or anything. No. Okay. Um, uh, is there anything else uh, you think I should know or anything I haven't asked you? I can say, I uh, describe, like I say, if the best you can describe Elijah, uh, is he a happy go lucky child or? He's shy. I can say he's very shy. Um, the last one I seen, which was the day before yesterday, I was like, why are you so quiet? Why you never talk to me? And he's just like, he shook his, shrugged his shoulders. And I'm like, do you like me? He's like, I do like you. And I was like, so why are you so quiet? He was like, I'm talking. 
and that was basically our conversation. Okay. And uh, he just being a four year old kid, <laughs> most part. So he's like, I'm talking. I was like, okay, well, your dad says go use the bathroom and go pee. Where were y'all at then? Um, you were over my house. Okay. And um, what was outside? And I took him to the bathroom. He used the bathroom. Um, I went outside. I'm like, do I need to watch him use the bathroom? Will said no. And I put on his shoes. He left. And that was the last time I seen him. Okay. All right. Do you know what Will uh, Wilford took him to get him something to eat yesterday? Do you know where he took him? Yesterday. He said that Saturday, um, his job had did a barbecue at his job, so he had like a lot of leftovers, like hamburgers and hot dogs for the week. So they've been pretty much eating hamburgers and hot dogs for what I know. I don't know if that's what they ate yesterday, but I know the day before yesterday, um, he asked for a hamburger bun, and I gave him a hamburger bun because we had hamburgers also at my house. Okay, so it's possibly that he ate, he ate a hamburger that was from here. Yeah. Okay, because you gave him a hamburger bun yesterday? I gave him a hamburger bun the day before yesterday. And it was late night, so I don't know if he went straight home and went to sleep and saved it. So, or... Tuesday night, you gave late Tuesday night, mm -hmm. early Wednesday morning, you gave him a hamburger. Okay. Uh, did you give him cheese or anything? No. no just a hamburger. I know late. I've been telling him that um, I'll take him, if he takes me, I'll go with them to go grocery shopping because I have food stamps and I'll put some food in the house for him and the kid gotcha. so um, but he he's been so mad at me to the point where he's just stubborn that's one thing about him he's very very stubborn and if he's mad he will starve he don't care he's not gonna use it I'm like well at least go put some food in the house for Elijah still don't want to do it so Is there anything else you think I should know? Anything you would like to tell me about Mr. Wilford uh, or Elijah or their relationship or you all, y'all's relationship or whatever? Um, nothing like major as far as like I honestly, this is shocking to me because I would never have thought that he would do something because he's always talked about his son like how much he misses his son, this, that, and other. But when he came back, I know he was mad because he says that what he raised him to do is, like, completely out of his head because of his mom raising him a different way in her household. So I know he was upset with that. He's like, you know, I have to sit here and train him and do everything. I don't want to have to, you know, be mean all the time. That's what he told me. And he was like, I want to actually take him places and, you know, be a kid, but it's like, he's always being sneaky, he doesn't listen, you know, I always have to seem like I have to discipline him, and I'm like, he's a kid, he's gonna do so that. So, he, he talks about disciplining him a lot. Yeah, he's always talking about how he's, like, upset with um, Elijah's mom, because Elijah just does everything so different, he's like, Elijah wants McDonald's all the time instead of food. And when he gets over other people's house, I know Elijah, when he gets over my house, he immediately says he wants a snack. Because my cousins, they always eat snacks. And Will gets upset with that. Will says, I don't know why he does that. Go over people's house and act like I don't feed him. I'm like, that's kids. I'm like, my cousin does it all the time. They see sweets, they want it. So he's like, he needs to eat food. That's something that he's been really, really on him about is food. Eating his food. Alright. Alright, is there anything else uh, you think I should know? Uh, and you say he's never been violent with you. Never been violent. I I just I always felt like if me and him lived together, he might probably been violent. That's just his energy that he gives to me. Like I just feel like he's always in a bad mood, he's always negative and it's like I get so drained from that negative energy and it's like why are you mad are you really mad because I didn't call you or pick up your phone pick up my phone the first time you know I was at work you know he just does little things like that um the other night he picked me up from work he's like well, what do you want me to do this is my last call on Skype uh, I can't just sit here and keep on calling you I'm like 
you can either pick me up from work and take me home or Jessica who's already here it's your choice because I know he wants to see me so it's like to me why won't you just say you want to pick me up okay. come pick me up but I don't know well this is really shocking to me and I'm like really feeling distance he's been calling me all morning and I really don't want to pick up my phone for him and this is just something I'm shocked about because he didn't look like he was shocked that he was going to jail this morning when I looked at him and I feel like why am I crying if he doesn't even care okay alright um, is there anything else you think I should know or no no This will conclude the interview. Uh, first of all, let me do this. Uh, raise your right hand. Do you swear the statement you just gave is true and correct? Yes. Okay. This will conclude the interview, and the time is approximately 11 to 24 hours.